M0FXB, let's get our APRS working on our FTM 400. So we're in VFO mode and we've got the frequency in there. We just typed it in with our 144800. And we're on the A band. And if you want to add that as a memory, you just hold down the F and then hold down that on 8. Call it APRS. Then enter. And then we're on number eight there. Let's just tap the F once. APRS. Okay, we've got the frequency. And now we're going to go into APRS settings. So we're going to hold down DISP. Turn the channel knob until we get to APRS. And then push it. And let's just start at the top. So I'll just go past ones that I haven't touched. So one, two, three. APRS message text. We did that. So push that. And then put your message, just tap it and then add a message, okay? Go back. Number five, modem, very important. You want to tap that until it says on, just tap, tap. Number six, APRS mute is just to stop hearing that sound. I, I always leave it on. Pop ups, how long you want them to show for, so tap it, it says 10 seconds uh, on everything. I might as well put packet, my packet on. So we, that's it, we'll go back. APRS pop-up color, nice. Um, APRS ringer, don't do that, don't do that. No, no, I haven't done the units. That's, that's you know, metrical, um, the old fashioned way. Beacon info select, so you can select what you see. I'm gonna put, uh, ambiguity means it won't be exact, otherwise we've got speed, course and altitude, that's fine. 14 beacon status text here so you can choose your status i'm going to go choose number one okay i'll just leave that alone beacon tx i think mine is manual or tap it just leave that alone for now so i haven't really changed that digipath haven't changed that Go past all that. Uh, call sign, that's very important. Tap that. So I've chosen M0FXB-9 and then enter that. Go back. Message group. I've never used that. Let's put it in group one anyway. Oh, you can name the group. So I'm going to call it me. And then back out. Message reply, that's if you have it on auto. So reply and you can get your call sign in. So we get our call sign in. M zero F X B nine. Enter. Got that in. Reply text. I just put hi. Back. Back. My position set. That's important. So I've got mine on manual because I've got a bad signal. But if you've got a good GPS, select GPS. And you'll see the emblem appear. Let's go back. Now, I think we're getting there now. Position comment, let's tap that. Off duty, that'll do. Smart beaconing, we don't use that. Sort, filter, voice alert. And I think that's it. Now, if we go back, let's see if I can send a message using my FTM, uh, FT5 that I've got here. Let's just do a text, go, uh, a beacon, so F, uh, beacon. It did go through, and now it's, it's meshes before. Let's try and go the other way. So we'll go F, and we'll go beacon. There you go, FTM 400 with all the information. And oh, it's actually automatically replied. So you know how that works, pretty cool, eh? And because I'm on the big antenna, we might even be on APRS FI already. Let's check. 
Right, yeah, we're on APRS FI. So you just put an APRS FI into Google, and there we are. Pretty good, eh? And that's first attempt. So my my as as you know, my position was just a, was a average position. I'm actually here, about here. But yeah, working great. So thanks for watching my channel. Please subscribe and like seven three. All the best.